All right, everybody, let's continue on with uh, dis uh, discussing uh, functions and such. But first, we're going to learn some, um, some vocabulary words, the word discrete. When we're talking about graphs and we're talking about discrete, a discrete graph can be a graph where you have points on a graph. So this graph right here has a bunch of points. It's considered to be discrete because it does not connect, right? However, even if I did this and then I put one over here and maybe one down here, this would still be considered uh, discrete because it does not connect. So discrete means it doesn't connect, but usually 99% of the time when you're looking at graphs, discrete is when you just have points and not lines. Continuous usually means you have a line. You graphed uh, linear equations last year. That's a continuous graph, a graph that uh, goes on forever this way and that way, right? So that's considered to be continuous. However, there's one exception to that rule. You can have a start and maybe a stop, and this is still considered to be continuous, but it's continuous between this point and that point, because there's no breaks between this point and that point. It's considered to be continuous from here to here. And we'll get in more detail when we actually talk about how to write that in interval notation. Okay, so you learn what a function is. A function is, we talked about the vending machine. We talked about how if I put in the number 12 and I got out a bag of chips, and then I put the number 12 into the vending machine again and got out a Snickers, well, that's two different things with the same number. That doesn't make sense. Hence, that machine is not functioning, and therefore, it's not a function. So now we're going to show you a way to cheat on that, and that's called the vertical line test. Um, and I'm about to show you that, but really quickly above that, you see that it says linear function. All that means is that linear is a line, so it's a function that is also a straight line. So if something is a linear function, it is a straight line that is also a function. That will play in a lot when we talk about graphing. So, all you have to do for a vertical line test is if you move a vertical line across a graph and, that, and only touches the graph of the equation at one point at any time, then the equation is a function. So let me show you what they mean by that. A vertical line is a line that goes up and down. So here's my red line that's a vertical line. And here's my graph. Right off the bat, I can tell it's linear because it's straight, right? And as I cross across this grass, this grass, this graph, um, it touches the graph once here, but it doesn't touch any, anywhere else. When I keep moving, sure, it touches it here, but it's not touching it at more than one place at any one time. So anywhere I stop, it only touches the graph once. Hence, it is a function. So this is a function, and this is linear. So we'll just call it FL. Fun line. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Oh, my gosh. What's this? Well, it's a circle. It's obviously not linear, so it's going to be not linear. So it's not linear, but is it a function? Well, let's check. As I move my vertical line across it, the problem I come across here is that when x, for instance, and we'll go right to the middle, how about that? For instance, when x is 0, so when x is 0, uh, y can be 7, or when x is 0, y can be, we'll call that, I don't know, negative 7. We'll pretend that it goes to negative 7. That's saying that I have two values for x. So that's that whole vending machine issue where I get two different answers. That means it is not a function. And so the good news about that, instead of looking at all the ordered pairs and checking, if I bring a line across, I can say, oh, it touches it twice, the line touches it twice, the line touches it twice. This is not a function, and it's not linear. All right, let's look at this one. So I see this is a straight line, so it's linear. Then I cross the, the vertical line across it. And you could do this with your pencil. Some people use a shadow. Um, but as you cross the line, does it touch the graph, the, li the, the, the line of the graph, uh, more than once? And the answer is no. It only anytime I stop it, it's only touching it at one point. Whereas here, whenever when I stopped it, it was touching it at two points here. Any place I stop it at, it only touches it once. So uh, this is a function, and it's linear. All right. So boom. I look at that, and I can definitely tell that that is linear because it is straight. It is a straight line. But then I check my function test. So I go across, nothing, 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 until I get right here. Bam! And all of a sudden, my vertical line is touching every point on this line. So that means, and it looks like x is 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So when x is 4, y can be 10. When x is 4, y can be 0. When x is 4, y can be negative 10. When x is 4, y can be 3. When x is 4, y can be... And it goes on. When x is 4, y can be... 
anything on this line, uh, it repeats it a billion trillion times, right? So therefore, this is one broken function. So this is not a function, so this is a linear, but not a function. And that usually happens when you have straight lines. All right, let's try a couple more just to make sure we're getting it. Again, we look over here. I see my red line right here, and I see that it is linear. And I check, well, again, any point that I stop with my vertical line, I see that it only touches the line once. So this is a function, and this is linear. Oh, my goodness. That's definitely not linear. It's all loop-de-loop. -loop. It looks like an upside-down rainbow. So this is definitely not linear. Um, does it pass the vertical line test? And the answer is it does. This may not really look it right here because it almost looks like it's straight up. But this is actually something called the parabola, which you'll learn in Math Secondary 2. Spent about a quarter to half a year on it. The line kind of goes up. It goes up. It kind of looks like a U, but it actually, instead of coming straight up, it kind of goes out like this. So it keeps going out, 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 out forever. So there's, it never repeats the same value uh, for x. So this is considered to be a function. All right, right here. This is an upside down uh, uh, graph of a uh, absolute value equation. Uh, which means there's probably a negative sign up front. So I look at this and I say, well, is it, is it linear? Well, it's linear from here to here, and it's linear from here to here. But if I'm looking at the entire graph, it's not linear because it's got a big giant bend in it. So it's not linear. And then I check for the vertical line test. Well, it, it doesn't touch the graph at more than one place. So oh, right by that. No, nope, touches only one place. What about here? No, nope, one place. So this is a function. It's just not, oops, not, not linear. Okay, and the last one, I took my problem and kind of flipped it to the side here. This is definitely uh, not linear, you can just tell by that. But again, when we come across here, when I stop it, when the x value has this value, there are two values for y. So for instance, let's go like to, to 1. At 1, when x is 1, y can be, looks like, uh, 7 and a half. And when y is 1, it can be well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like 5. I don't know. I don't know why it's that way. I probably didn't graph it very well. Um, and so these are ordered pairs. I put in 1, get a 7 and a half. Put in 1, get a 5. That's not a function. So not linear and not a function. So now that you've seen that, let's go ahead and have you try one. So boom. Here is a, a graph. Go ahead and write down. Hit pause and see if you can answer all these questions. Okay, I'm going to assume that you guys are doing this. You're not being passive watchers. You are actively looking at this, especially if you're my distance learners. You need to be trying these activities. So first question should be a really easy one for you. You should be able to say, is this discrete or continuous? It's dot, so it's discrete. Is it linear? Well, the, I kind of like see, well, it kind of looks like there's a line there. So I'm going to go to the best of my knowledge. Yes, this is linear. And then it says, what's the domain of the range? Well, to list that, i got to write down all the x values and all the r values, but I can't repeat them, right? Because domains and range don't repeat. So let's look. My x values, I always start on the left and read to the right. And I'm always going to start at the bottom and go to the top. Because if I do that, then everything will actually be in order. Because if I read to the left, negative 4, then negative 2, then 0, then two, notice all my x values are in order because I read from left to right. And then going from the bottom to the top, you'll notice that my ranges will be in order. Negative five, negative two, neg I mean one, four, and seven. And you notice I have a tendency to do this so I can keep track. These are all my x's and these are all my y's because it's easy to kind of lose track. So then finally, I already know because my x doesn't repeat, I already know that this is a function. But I could also have done a quick check. Instead of doing all that, I didn't have to list the domain range. I could just go, doesn't repeat. There's no point where it touches the line twice. So yes, this is a function. All right, so now you get the feeling of it. Here's the next slide. Pause and try it. Write it down, try it. You should not be a passive watcher. You should be actively trying these things. OK, I'm assuming you actually paused this and did this. So here we go. First thing, is it discrete or continuous? This is discrete because it's points on a graph. Is it linear? Well, I can see that it's all jacked up, so no, it's not linear. 
And then the domain and the range, again, I put the domain and the range, and again, I read from left to right and from bottom to the top. And so from left to right, I'm going to get 0, 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, 2, and 3. No repeats, so that tells me this is going to be a function. And then range, 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. And there's a range. No repeats, so this I already know this is going to be a function, yes. But if I didn't have the points, I just wanted a quick look, I can tell that the red dots don't have more than one at any point for x. So because it doesn't repeat, it is a function. All right. Pause. You try it, and we'll go over it. I'm assuming you already did that, so let's go. Discrete or continuous? Hopefully you said that this was discrete because there are just dots here. Is it linear? It definitely looks like a straight line, so yes. What is the domain and the range? Well, the domain is the x values and the range are the y values. So again, I'm going to look. My domain left to right, well, they're all in a row, so they're all on the same. Then I go from bottom to top, so I'm going to go, my domain is 3, 3, 3, 3. Uh oh, that's a lot of threes. So I can just write a set containing 3, or I can just put D is 3. Either one is correct. My range, again, I read from bottom to top. Negative 6, negative 1, 5, and 8. By doing from bottom to top, again, I put them in order that way. And then I ask, is it a function? Well, the 3 repeats, so I know it's not a function. But if I didn't have the points, I was just doing my vertical line test, I'd say, right here, when x is 3, I have all these different values that repeat, so therefore this is not a function. I want you to get to know that doing the vertical line test is a lot faster if you have a graph. So, let's try this one. I, I expect you to be trying this in your paper. Even if you don't draw, draw the graph, just answer the questions. You're actively participating. That way when we go over them, you're seeing, do I get this? Can, am I ready to do this activity? Here we go. Continue, a discrete or continuous? Well, this is a straight line. This is a, there's no dots here, so this goes on forever and ever. This is considered to be continuous. Is it linear? Well, that's a straight line, so yes. Is it a function? I don't have the ordered pairs, but I can draw my vertical line across and I don't see any repeats, so yes, this is a function. Goes pretty quick, right? All right, try this one. And then hit pause and then I'll go through it. I'm assuming you did that, so here we go. Is this discrete or continuous? It is a red line that has no breaks in it, so I'm going to say continuous. Is it linear? No, unless rainbows are linear, this is not linear. So not linear. And then, is it a function? Well, I do the vertical line test, and I don't see any repeats. Some people get confused a little bit, but it's still kind of gradually going over. This is a parabola. It's just flipped upside down. It goes on. It's not a U. It's a parabola, and it goes, keeps on going on that way, so it doesn't repeat. So yes, this is a function. And finally this one. Quickly do it, hit pause, see if you got it right. Okay, I'm assuming you did that. Discrete or continuous, solid line, so this is a continuous. Is it linear? Definitely not, no, or not. Is it a function? Well, let's check. If I do the vertical line test, uh, as you go across, I notice that there are two points for each value of x. So that means that this is not a function. No, we're not. Okay, I think that covers it all. We'll move on.